I think most of you would know what this is. Plasma ball? I can't remember the name, actually. Darn it, and they threw the box away. Is it on the bottom? No. This voltage rate is 12, though. It's max is 12. Oh, I have a headache. It's so bad. Oh, man. Oh, but we went to Omzi's Science Center. And we bought this. Please zoom out. It won't zoom out. Why won't you zoom out? So, thought I'd make a little video on it. Nobody knows I'm making this. So, right now, it's off. Now, I turned it on once so that when I touch it, Zap. Watch. Now here's on all the time. That looks a lot cooler on video. I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> Isn't this cool? See, can I get a better view? Let's just stare at it for a moment. Back it up, actually, a little. Okay, there we go. This is so cool. I can smell the electricity, actually. Oh, it's burning my fingers. So yeah, Tristan and Skyler thought they broke it, but they didn't, luckily. Don't, I'm trying to switch it. Ah. There we go. See, imagine if, like, this just started doing this, like, and then it just went crazy. And then it switched on. Like. Not uh, that. Like in a horror movie. You see one of these. Then it just starts to go crazy. Like what I just did. Then it switches on. Then you're on the other side. Like over here. And they place down their finger. And if you look. It's red. And what if they spell high with it. That would be creepy. Like. And then somehow got their finger in between right there. Pinky, dislocate. <laughs> that would be really creepy. But yeah, this thing is just fun to sit here and mess with. And the movie Mega Mind, he has like a bunch of little minion bots. And their brains are literally like these little balls. Where if he touches them, he'll stroke them like this. It's weird. See, if you just put one finger, it like freaks out. But if you don't have any finger, see? But if you have a bunch, it's like focusing. See, but if you have one spot, it focuses all of the energy there, and it will burn you. Let's see, can this thing burn me? I really do enjoy it. I would say we bought this for about $20. So, I would say that this, I, if it depends on how long it lasts, like, it's a plug-in. But it depends, like, is this, like, I'm sure if we dropped it, it'd be gone, it's completely plastic. But if we dropped it, but, like, how long will it last? And how durable is it really? Like, this isn't even glass, this little orb right here is just plastic. I could puncture it with a hammer, see what happens. Oh, I could do that, I could, like, if I get a bunch of money, somehow, some way, 
I can, like, buy stuff and see what happens if I tamper with them, like, breaking this. Like, I can order a really cheap one of these and just, like, chip a piece out with a hammer or something. Or a drill. And then see what happens. Would that not be cool? That would be so cool. Oh, my headache. Well, yeah, I just wanted to really show you this, and I really do recommend it. There was a $50 one, and I'm going to guess that was, like, twice the size. A little more than twice the size of this, but we didn't get it. We got the 20 bucks one. I wonder what that would have been like. Probably would have had a lot more energy, like, maybe a little more than double. Look at the electricity. Burning. It's like focusing into one spot. It's like the sun at your fingertips. I'm kidding. Oh, now my fingers smell electricity. What if I put it to my hair? Oops, I took a picture. What I suggest you to do is I'm gonna scream for Skylar to help me record. So I suggest you turn down the volume for about five seconds until you see Skylar walk through the door. I'll give you a few seconds to turn down the volume. Okay, I'm about to scream. Skylar! I need help in the room! Okay, you can turn back up the volume. Turn back up the volume. Skylar's coming. Mom heard me and she's telling Skylar. So let's just wait for him. Because, like, if this is a ball of electricity, pretty much. Well, like, can my hair stand on edge? Can I shock somebody? We need to find out. at this thing. I need you to record. It's already recording. No, I'm gonna... Wait, I'm gonna do a little experiment do, do, with it. Do, 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 they can't do, see. Do, do, do. Why are you it looking? It is. No, me. See, that's what I'm gonna do, record. I'm gonna stick it to my hair. I'm watching a show. Can you get it? Yeah, it looks like pink. Uh, Is my hair standing up? Yep. Nope. Really? Oh, more more than bit. usual. A bit. Pillow Pet works better. <laughs> A what works better? Pillow Pet. Pillow Pet. Wait, everybody, watch this. This is what it's made for. I've already reviewed most of it. <laughs> oh, to play with. Headache. Oh, I can smell smoke right now. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. I'm out of here. Rub a dub. And before I go, Talk bye bye. Do. Darn it. Okay. Bye. I thought there'd be more into this thing. There's. So many fun things to do at the OMSI Science Center. There was just one really disturbing thing. So they were, like, showing how a baby's born. Not, like, video, but, like, picture-by-picture picture kind of thing. Of, like, it coming out of the mom's stomach. Not, it's, like, lifelike, but... Kinda. Um. And, like, it wasn't even picture. It was, like, all plastic and stuff. It was, like, 3D printed stuff. Where... I was, like, showing how the baby came out, kind of. And then I was told Oma how I was, like, losing my appetite because we hadn't eaten lunch yet. So then I walked around the sign, and I saw this. I mean, I walked around the side, and I saw this sign. And the babies were actually real-life babies that died because of accidents or natural things. And they were just, like, in a coat of plastic. 
that really like creeped us all out like at first mom didn't believe it but then she read the entire sign and she realized okay i'm gonna shut off my now now but ah, see i'm gonna shut the video off now because my brain is going to explode that place dehydrated me like i haven't had any water all day uh okay i'm gonna go drink a gallon of water now please like oh oh you have just Please, oh, yeah. please subscribe, like, I can't even remember my outro, and I hope you have enjoyed. There, here, I'm gonna spell goodbye letter by letter. Okay, so I'm a horrible speller. Well, bye.